Well, guys, that's right. AG Drummond releasing a statement this afternoon. He says that the governor did not follow the law and that, quote, this entire episode has been nothing short of a spectacle. All of this has been months in the making. Our complaint is very simple. Follow the state law, state statutes. Larry Van Skyver was the longtime chairman of the Oklahoma Veterans Commission. It's the group that oversees the Oklahoma Department of Veteran Affairs. But he, along with other members, were removed from the commission by Governor Kevin Stitt last summer. Stitt appointed their replacements, which he has the authority to do, from a set list approved by the veterans groups represented on the commission. But Attorney General Gettner Drummond says the governor did not follow the law by appointing people outside that list. The governor does have some pick in there where he can pick one of the five names, but he can't go outside that list. State law is very specific, but that's what he did. In a statement, Drummond said, quote, as a combat veteran, I am deeply troubled that the proposed commission appointments have been made contrary to the law. He goes on to say he is confident that state legislators will resolve the matter this legislative session by stripping the governor of his autonomy over the panel. And that might just happen. Today, House Bill 1080 passed out of committee. It would reduce a governor's power to appoint members of the Veterans Commission from all nine members to just two appointees. It now heads to the full house for a vote. And I did reach out to the governor's office for a comment. They did not have one, but they did say they have been in contact with the AG's office. Reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.